Defending against SEC to cost Ripple $200 million, CEO Brad Garlinghouse says. Ripple CEO reveals $200 million spent defending the SEC lawsuit and laments about U.S. crypto regulation and a politics-first policy advising entrepreneurs to avoid the United States. He stated that the U.S. is stuck compared with the regulatory progress of the Arab Emirates Virtual Asset Regulatory Authority and the recent markets in crypto assets. MICA bill in the European Union. He went on to share that by the time the case is decided, Ripple will have spent $200 million defending itself against a lawsuit which, from its very beginning, doesn't make much sense. In a message to SEC Chair Gary Gensler, Garlinghouse expressed regret about the U.S. falling behind significantly as Ripple's expanded to the United Arab Emirates. According to him, the tough thing about the situation is having a country that has put politics ahead of policy. Garlinghouse said one of the first pieces of advice he gives entrepreneurs when they ask him about getting something started is, if I were you, I would not start in the United States. He believes many US-based companies in US would agree. When asked about the US needing a clear regulatory framework for crypto, Garlinghouse said the SEC must understand that the vast majority of people working in crypto and blockchain are good actors who want to stay within the rules of the road but need them defined. So this is a good example of how Regulators, politicians use their systems and processes because they're so bureaucratic to kill companies, to punish companies that they don't want to flourish. 200 million. If this wasn't Ripple, this would have killed most crypto projects. Thank God Ripple has the finances to do the hard work because this fight needs to be had. It's just very sad. It's taken so long. It's very sad. It's been so expensive for them. And it's very sad that Ripple tried to work with SEC and is getting treated in my mind, unfairly. Greg Garlinghouse has 100%